You're coming too. What started as a dream is now our reality. Six years ago, we poured her ballast, raised every frame, cut every plank, and named her Red Aviva. Ready for life back on the ocean, this year we're determined yeah. to set sail. Did you look at that? I'd say that's the making of a fine cruising vessel. <laughs> We're Salt and Tar, and this is our life. We're happy to share, and thanks for joining us. Welcome back, everybody. Last time, we got a lot of progress done on the davit mounts and sealed the holes through the deck just in time. Garrett pushes through a damp day, getting the boom and gaff ready to bend on the mizzen sail. Well, I got the boom in the gaff off of the mizzen today and I'm going to try to finish shaping them down getting the collars on and see how far I can get it's not a very nice day I don't know if it's just really if you call it really heavy fog or really light rain but see if I can do this without my tools getting too wet <laughs> I've got this old galvanized collar, which is a, a matching one to the one on the main boom. Clean up the old paint and stuff and hit it with a coat of black paint so it matches the one on the main collar. It's about, about an inch and an eighth. I'm gonna drill for some fasteners in this collar. All right, switch to the little cone countersink thingy. Sweet. Ready to fasten it on. Okay, so the collar's done, except for just a little coat of paint, but we'll do that back of the boat when it's not wet outside. Um, so next I'm going to probably drill and install the eye bolt that needs to go at the base of the boom. And then I've got one to install on the gaff as well as a little pad eye to lace the, uh, the end of the gaff up to. I think I'm done with the mizzen boom, so I'm gonna move on to the gaff. And so I need to move this eye back, then I need to put another attachment point for the peak halyard, then I need to clean up the aft end here. One of the modifications on both the main and mizzen gaffs was to separate the shared bolt for the halyard on top and the throat underneath which is the corner of the sail that attaches to the gaff closest to the mast. When the gaff is fully peaked, this bolt would grind into the mast, so it had to be moved. So for the peak halyard on the uh, mizzen gaff, I'm just gonna go with a single point because it's so small it doesn't really need a bridle. So I was just able to piece together a couple things from the marina store just a carriage bolt and a little eye nut so I'm just gonna use that and they only had 
four inch and five inch. They didn't have any half inch increments. So this one's a little small, but the five inch is way too long. So I'm just gonna take a Forzner bit and cut out like a quarter inch for this to kind of nest into so I can get all the threads on that. That's done, good enough, functional. So last bit for now is to figure out just like a little pad eye or something or eye bolt or whatever I have laying around to, we just need a point to lace the end of the gap up to. And then I'm just gonna clean up the end here a little bit and then use the router and just give it a nice round edge and then they should be done to the point where they can go back on the boat and then we can add the little it's just like the reef points um, run the lines for the reefs and put whatever cleats or whatnot we need yeah this sucks not even swabs happy Miz and Boom and Gap are ready to go back on the boat. I got all the hardware and attachment points that I need to get done here, and then everything else can be finished when we uh, lash the sail back on next time, which we'll probably wait till hopefully tomorrow. Um, we'll get some good weather, but it's just too rainy and wet to do it today. But good progress, feel pretty happy about it. Um, one step closer. Hello everybody, well, we had a big storm come through the day after the lighted boat parade, so we're just kind of getting back to things today, just ended up having to kind of batten everything down and got pretty windy, so the boat is just pretty much a tangle of Christmas lights right now. <laughs> It just kind of fell down everywhere. So, a bit disorganized, but it could be worse. My goal for today is I'm gonna try to get the boom and the gaff for the mizzen back in place and rigged up and then hopefully I can get the sail um, start to get that bent on and get it ready so we'll have one more functional sail and start thinking about where to rig up the sheets and start thinking about the reefing and all that stuff so first step though is to just get them back in place All right, just making a little lashing here to connect the throat.
The lacing of the head around the gaff is spliced at both ends. We're also lacing the luff to the mast, semi-permanently, but eventually we'll use our carol beads, but they're a little more time consuming. This way is faster and we can sail like this until we feel ready to dedicate the time to string and splice hundreds of beads. The wind then picks up, leaving this to be finished another day. Garrett got half of the luff lacing done, as well as three out of the four corners of the sail lashed, and the head lacing done. Now that I've finished editing the last video, he has my help too. clear of the davit. Splice it. No, I'm just going to tie it. A hard splice to film. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little precarious. Long enough? Yep. At least you did the one that's way out on the end of the boom when it was loose. That would have made that one really hard. Yeah. A little more solid ground here. I like to just put little dots on my lines. That way it's less thinking. Really oh, which one's which? Keep track of them. I just mark one and two. Huh. Just speeds things up. Yeah.
You just do like what, two lines or something? Or are you able to actually write on it? No, I just do one dot oh, and two, two dots. dots. Nice. You did a really good job making that pretty. Oh yeah. What's okay. next? So next I guess is uh, the reefing. Or the topping lifts, huh? Oh yeah, we'll need to do tops. I don't have blocks up there yet though. Oh. So let's do the reefing. <laughs> we can do it just like the main. Um, and the, the mizzen only has one reef. Um, and on the main, because it's a pretty vertical leech, um, we're just able to use the collar with four points and then uh, attach the reef line to one end, go up through the reef cringle, and then come back down to a block, a cheek block, and then bring it forward. And that worked totally fine. It had a great set. I had to do the, the next reef I had to put uh, block a little bit further in. The second reef on the main, you mean? Yeah, but if there only being one, hopefully that'll work. And if it works that way, then it'll be really quick and easy. Nice. So I brought all the random blocks and stuff, so just start sorting through them. Nice. Maybe I'll rig up something real quick just to get a feel for it. Ooh! Nice. There, you can be re able to reach it now. Little back, yeah. Got a temporary hook there for the reefed clue at the reef point. Yeah, it just looks nice and shapely. So you're thinking doing a a, a cheek block or block cheek? What did you call it? No, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Just gonna leave it. Perfect. So then we'll just do the permanent line. Yep, and then I'll probably just do the exact same thing I did on the main and just bolt on a cleat here and then just do a couple of like, uh, you know, spliced uh, rings just around the boom just to hold this in place. Keep it from sagging. Mm -hmm. I like it. And then topping lifts. And then lips. the boom bridle, and yep. then she'll be caught up to where the main's at. We don't have uh, yeah. sheet mm -hmm. for either one, mm -hmm. and running backs. Yes, although I've got the tangs, both the attachment points for the running back on the mizzen, so that's very easy. I just have to splice on the deck. Yeah, so I'll just. I've got some of that leftover Dyneema, so I'm probably just gonna use that for the running backs. So I'll just splice a loop into it, shackle them up top. I've got all the attachment points at the masthead for it mm -hmm. already, so mm -hmm. I'll splice them on, shackle them on up top, and then all I'll need to do is splice another loop down here, put a thimble in it, and then find block and tackle, and just attach some hooks on the bottom of them. Nice. Mm -hmm. What's going on? It has a bevel. <laughs> so this is a cutting board. Huh? <laughs> so we got a we got a mystery text from John <laughs> saying uh, he was in the 
in the gift giving Christmas spirit mood. And uh, he came over about a week ago and we had to stay outside. He wouldn't let us down below and he was measuring something. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Oh, my oh nice. <laughs> wow. That is just gorgeous. Oh, right um, on. Oh, and you, oh, that's so cool. So I guess right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guess right. Oh, oh that's wow. beautiful. Oh, that is so fun. All right, let's go see if it fits. Yeah. <laughs> Sign on. After you. All right. Take this with us. <laughs> Better. Little heater. Yeah. Doesn't, it doesn't do much, but it does something. It takes the edge off, right? Alright, then drum roll. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh yeah. that looks so cool with the tiles. Oh. Here we go. Wow. Yours is the biggest. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> wow, oh, that is so fun. I think it, here, you should take this. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really cool with the kind of the crazy tiles and yeah. like this pattern. I mean, I think they go together really well and it just adds to like the, the kind of yeah. eclecticness of the <laughs> in interior. That's sweet. So this is all end grain, yeah. mm -hmm. so it'll be really tough. Yeah, it's it's a bitch to sand. Oh, oh god, it, you it got it so a smooth. Long time, and the edge looks so cool. Oh, I love it. Thank so you. Is it, You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Is it maple? Maple, cherry, and walnut. Nice. I oh, love this. Yeah. No, it really looks yeah, really awesome looks, with the I, yeah, tile. I, I was pretty sure it would look great That's with stunning. the tiles. And I, yeah, it, it fits right in. And yeah. you know, on that Saturday night when you've had too much to drink, if you start looking at that and it makes you puke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I'm scared. Yeah. Yeah. We enjoyed a few beers right with John while our short winter day grew dark. Thanks for hanging out with us. I'll see you next week. Cheers. Fog or really light rain, but either way, it's shitty. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Again, you know, the best ideas are the ones you steal off of YouTube. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>